This short animated video explains the basic concept of skewness and kurtosis in statistics. By end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of what these terms are in statistics and how they are used. So please stay tuned, don't go anywhere else, just sit back, relax and enjoy this video on statistics. So what is skewness and kurtosis? Let's first start with the skewness. Skewness basically measures the asymmetry of data distribution and help us understand how the values are spread around the mean. In simple terms, it tells us if the data is skewed to the left, right or it is asymmetrical. Literally, skewness measures the lack of symmetry. Now let us understand the three different types of skewness. We start with a very famous normal distribution which has no skew in it. So in this case, your mean, median and mode will be equal. Now let's switch to the left skewed, which has a long negative tail. This is also known as a negatively skewed. This is because it's a long tail in the negative direction on the number line. Mean is also to the left of the peak followed by the median and then the mode here. The left tail distribution is longer or fatter than the right. So in this case, the mean is less than median and mode is greater than both mean and the median here. Now let's switch to the right tail, which is also has a long right tail, also known as the positive skew distribution. This is because there's a long tail in the positive direction. So in this case, your mean is also the right of the peak. The right tail of the distribution is longer or fatter than the right one. So mean is greater than median, which is greater than the mode. Now to remember this thing, right? The difference between positive and negative skewed, think of it in this way. Like if you want to increase the mean of the distribution, you should add much higher values than the mean of the distribution. Or to lower the mean, you should add, do the opposite, like introduce much lower values than the mean of the distribution. So if the majority of the extreme values is higher than the mean, the skewness will be positive because they increase the mean. If the majority of extreme values is smaller than the mean, skewness is negative because they decrease the mean. That is the difference between the left skewed and the right skewed. Now let's start again with the kurtosis. So kurtosis basically measures the peak or the height of data distribution and help us understand the shape of the frequency distribution. So basically what it will measure, it will measure the extent to which the frequency distribution is peaked in comparison to the normal curve. Let us understand the three different types of kurtosis. Again, we'll start with the normal distribution which has a kurtosis value of 3 we call this as mesocurtic because it has a value of 3. Now we'll switch to pentacurtic, which has kurtosis value of less than 3. In this case, the curve has low peak than the normal curve. And in this curve, there is less concentration of items around the central value. Now last but not the least is the leptocurtic. In this case, the curve has more peak than the normal distribution and Curtis's value is greater than 3. So you understand like if the Curtis's value is 3, it is normal distribution. If it is less than 3, it is platocurtic. If it is more than 3, it is laptocurtic. Now if I merge all these three together and look like in a one graph, this is how it will look like. So if your data resembles a very sharp mountain peak, it will be laptocurtic. If it is more flat, it is platocurtic. Now, if it is somewhere in between these two, it is mesocurtic or the normal distribution. Now, let's do a quick recap of skewness and kurtosis. So, skewness measures the asymmetry in the data set, while kurtosis measures the tailness of a distribution. Skewness describes the shape and the direction of skewness, if it is left skewed or right skewed while kurtosis describe the shape of distribution, peak and its tail. There are basically three types of skewness. 
left skewed right skewed and no skewed for left skewed will have a long left tail right skewed will have a long right tail and normal distribution will have no skew in that case mean will be equal to median will be equal to mode while in kurtosis there are three types leptocutic mesocutic and platocutic so if the kurtosis value is 3 it is known as a mesocutic or a normal distribution if your peak is more than the normal distribution it is leptocutic and has a kurtosis value greater than 3 if the peak is more flat it is platocutic and kurtosis value will be less than 3 now commonly you is used in the field like economics finance and social science units about the kurtosis commonly used in statistics engineering and physical science skewness is most sensitive to changes in the tail of the distribution while kurtosis is most sensitive to the changes in the center and the shoulders of the distribution so in short that is a quick recap of skewness and the kurtosis so if you are still watching this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and do press the bell icon for all the notification from digital e learning and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button as well share this video with all your friends and colleague and in case if you have any suggestions or comment to let me know in the comment box below now is the quiz time on this topic so before we start read the questions very carefully and leave your answers in the comment section below let's start with the first question what is true about skewness first it measures the spread of a data b it indicates the symmetry of a data distribution c it measures the peakness of a data distribution d it is always positive you can give the answers in the comment section below second question which of the following statements best describe the kurtosis in the data distribution a kurtosis measures the central tendency of a data set b kurtosis measures the dispersion or the spread of data points c kurtosis measures the asymmetry of a distribution d kurtosis measures the peakness of or flatness of a distribution third question which type of skewness indicates that the tail on the right side of distribution is longer or flatter than the left side positive skewness negative skewness zero skewness or none of the above you can leave your all your answers in the comment section below i hope you like this video